Hey everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. It's been quite a busy week in the Apex scene as there has been a lot of talk, a lot of chatter about coaches this week and how coaches are allowed to be in the calls with their teams, feeding their teams live information mid-match. We saw Monsoon, a player for Complexity, take to Twitter to say since when are coaches allowed to talk mid-game and influence their teams, decisions, rotates, and information. PvP is literally sitting there calling out edge teams and when rotates are bad mid-pro league. Who thought this was a good idea so very confused Huge, bro. yes sir gl's gonna be holding us probably on the right let's get it it was malice mambo the only other edge team is team liquid and they were, popping they were by ulti cells. i'm popping two ulti cells who's on the left bro um, it could be dn dno is another edge team from the east side of the map i mean we'll recognize that's, that's, that's a valk team good shit mac good clean up team, team uh, liquid I did 80 damage. Damage. <laughs> we, we have to go to the right we have to go to the right right now so the suspicion there being that PVP, the coach for Cloud9, could have been feeding his team information from other people's streams. There is a required delay of five minutes, so it isn't exactly live, but he could still feed information about the zone, about where other teams are and when they were rotating. Even if it is five minutes behind, you can generally kind of tell where people are headed or what they are doing. Of course, people on Twitter and other players in the scene were not super happy about this, and this sparked a large discussion a player for furia tq was saying no longer streaming aogs tournaments since it's actually allowed to stream snipe and have coaches talk to you during game and feed you information from other teams like beacon information which is useful even on a five minute delay a lot of this beacon talk was in reference to g2 who many were saying that they heard the coach tell them about zone information before zone information was available to anyone without a beacon character designful confirmed this saying yep new rules in aogs coaches can talk at all times and you're allowed to have anyone streams up because it's public info and it's a risk the players know they're taking. Cloud9 responded to the situation saying before you all freak out or whatever, the coaching rules aren't going anywhere or going to change. One of the main reasons they exist now is because if you didn't stream, you already could do this and no one could prove it. They aren't worried about a five minute delay stream sniping, so watching main broadcast or player streams is completely allowed. Yes, this is very scummy though. PVP himself said getting the hate because AOGS decided to let coaches talk to teammates mid game, which is a rule I do not agree with, but I'm also not a dumb F, so I won't let other teams use it while I sit in silence. Also, just to be clear, I am only watching C9 during the game. With this general sense of dissatisfaction in a lot of professional players and people competing in the scene, of course, there were calls for change that were going on that I don't think were necessarily heard all the way. Drop said, hopefully they change his coaching ruling ASAP. This first tourney is just scratching the surface with how people are going to abuse it. They need to get on top of this and change the stream sniping rule as well. It blew my mind that stream sniping isn't against the rules. Jokes aside, I actually despise this new coach ruling. I barely talked to my team yesterday during games, and the few times I did, it felt absolutely disgusting. The Apex competitive scene has been a complete joke compared to the beginning TBH from zones to coaches mid-game. This crap needs to be tightened up and figured out. Even Rocker tagging Tabber saying, this rule needs to be changed. Realistically, there's nothing stopping a coach from opening broadcast stream in any player stream and essentially stream sniping. I know there's five minutes delay, but you can still get a ton of info you would never know. To which he responded, in a friendly reminder, this is the respawn league ops manager saying at lands and online we want coaches to be able to watch their players pov and provide strategy cases outside of that scenario we will investigate per our code of conduct to me, this situation is just a wild ride because it seems like AOGS is almost encouraging people to do this, to go sit in and watch other teams stream, even though it, yes, it might be looked down on by other teams, it's a competitive advantage that some people are going to take no matter what. They're going to sit there and they're not going to choose beacon characters anymore because they could just watch another team who does have a beacon character and is streaming it only on a five minute delay. So perhaps it will just increase this delay requirement, which will be a, a little bit weird because people won't want to watch it the same way. Like if individuals are streaming it, why would you watch the 10 minute delay when you could just watch the main Apex stream for a five minute delay instead. So it's a bit of a sticky situation that I feel like they're gonna have to put a competitive ruling on, but let me know what you guys think about all this. I don't understand how it's allowed personally. Until next time, I'll catch you later.